All right, you are welcome again. Today, let's talk about arc length. I want to discuss how to solve for area length of a curve. Area length of a curve, okay? Now, let's go. We say the arc length of the graph of f of x from x equal to a to x equal to b is given by the length l is equal to integral from a to b square root of 1 plus f prime of x squared dx you say where f of x is continuous on the closed interval a to b okay now let's go this is how to solve for area length of a curve and then we say when you are being given a curve to find its area length you are going to make use of this formula the length is equal to integral from a to b square root of one plus f prime of x squared dx okay now let's go properly let's take a look at this question find the area length of the curve x raised to power 2 all over 3 plus y raised to power 2 all over 3 equal to 4 between x equal to 0 to x equal to 8. Okay? Yes, this is a question. Or this is a graph we are being given to find its area length. Okay? Now, we say that the formula we are going to use is this. We say integral from a to b square root of 1 plus f prime of x squared dx. Now, the function or the curve that is given to us is x raised to the power 2 all over 3 plus y raised to the power 2 all over 3 equal to 4. From this curve, we can make y the subject. Let's take x raised to the power 2 all over 3 to the other side. So we are going to have y raised to the power 2 all over 3 equal to 4 minus x raised to the power 2 all over 3. From this place, let's remove this exponent 2 all over 3 from y so we are going to multiply the exponent by the inverse of the exponent so the exponent we have here is 2 all over 3 so we're going to multiply the exponent by 3 all over 2 so as we do to this y we also do to the right hand side so in the right hand side we have 4 minus x raised to the power 2 all over 3 multiplied by the exponent 3 all over 2 so in the left hand side we are going to have 2 all over 3 times 3 all over 2 is going to give us 1, okay? Then we have equal to, in the right hand side, we have 4 minus x raised to the power 2 all over 3 raised to the power 3 all over 2. You get it? Now let's go. We want to find the f prime of x. You know, we have made this to be in a proper form. We have y is equal to. 4 minus x raised to the power 2 all over 3 in bracket raised to the power 3 all over 2. This is the function we have, okay? And then in the formula, we have f prime of x. So in this y is equal to this 4 minus x raised to the power 2 all over 3 in bracket raised to the power 3 all over 2. Let's find the f prime of this function. That is, let's differentiate or let's find the derivative of this function, okay? Now, we are going to make use of chain rule, okay? We are going to say let t equal to, you know, the content in the bracket, let's call it a letter. So we are going to say let t equal to 4 minus x raised to the power 2 all over 3, okay? So when we do so, let's differentiate this our new function. This our new function, let's differentiate. But here we have t is equal to 4 minus x raised to the power 2 all over 3. So we have... The function t okay and the variable x we're going to differentiate this t with respect to x so we're going to say the t all over the x is equal to so when we differentiate 4 we're going to give us 0 is a constant then when we differentiate minus x raised to the power 2 all over 3 we're going to bring down the minus 2 all over 3 and then multiply by x raised to the power 2 all over 3 minus 1 okay good so in this place, when we say 2 all over 3 minus 1, is going to give us minus 1 all over 3. So we have the t all over the x 
is equal to minus 2 all over 3 x raised to power minus 1 all over 3 okay good you know this minus 2 all over 3 x raised to power minus 1 all over 3 can be written as minus 2 all over 3 times this x raised to power minus 1 all over 3 you can write it in this way 1 all over is the same as saying 1 all over so we have minus 2 all over 3 times 1 all over x raised to power 1 all over 3 so when we multiply this we are going to say that the t all over the x is equal to minus 2 all over 3x raised to power 1 all over 3 okay yes we say let this content in the bracket let's call it a letter t 4 minus x raised to power 2 all over 3 and let's find the derivative of this function t with respect to x and then we have solved and we say that the t all over the x is equal to minus 2 all over 3 x raised to power 1 all over 3 okay yes now let's go back to our function y you know we say let 4 minus x raised to power 2 all over 3 let let's call it a letter t okay that means in a new function we're going to say that y is equal to t raised to power 3 all over 2 you get it right the whole of the content is now a letter t now we have y is equal to t raised to power 3 all over 2. We are going to differentiate this y with respect to t. Okay? So that means we are going to say dy all over dt is equal to. We bring down the 3 all over 2. We are going to have 3 all over 2 t raised to power 3 all over 2 minus 1. So when we say 3 all over 2 minus 1, it's going to give us 1 all over 2. So we say that dy all over dt is equal to. 3 all over 2 t raised to power 1 all over 2 okay so we have solved and we obtain dy dt and dt dx but what we are interested is f prime of x that is dy dx so so for us to get dy all over dx we are going to say the two derivative we have should be multiplied you get it so that means we're going to say dy all over dt times dt all over dx so we'll multiply this together it's going to give us dy all over dx okay good now let's go we're going to say dy all over dx is equal to what do we have as a dy all over dt we have 3 all over 2 t raised to power 1 all over 2 as a dy all over dt so we bring it here multiply by dt all over dx what do we have as our dt all over the x? We have minus 2 all over 3 x raised to power 1 all over 2. So we're going to say dy all over the x is equal to 3 all over 2 t raised to power 1 all over 2 times minus 2 all over 3 x raised to power 1 all over 3. All right? Yes. But you remember that t is 4 minus x raised to power 2 all over 3. So we can replace it here. So that means we are going to say dy all over dx is equal to 3 all over 2, open bracket, 4 minus x raised to power 2 all over 3, in bracket, raised to power 1 all over 2, multiplied by minus 2 all over 3x raised to power 1 all over 3. Okay? So here we have 3 all over 2 in the first side and 2 all over 3 in the second side. So these two can cancel each other. We're going to have dy all over dx is equal to minus. We're going to have 4 minus x raised to power 2 all over 3 in bracket. Raised to power 1 all over 2 all over x raised to power 1 all over 3. Okay? Is that clear? Now let's go. We have found dy all over dx. And then we say that dy all over dx is the same as f prime of x. Okay? And then... In our formula, we say that integral from a to b, square root of 1, plus f prime of x squared. So we have found f prime of x. Please, let's take the square of it. Let's see what we are going to have. So we say that the y over the x or the f prime of x that we have now is minus 4 minus x raised to the power 2 all over 3 in bracket raised to the power 1 all over 2 all over x raised to the power 1 all over 3. So this is the f prime of x. Let's take the square of it. So that means we're going to say f prime of x squared 
is equal to the whole of the function that we have now squared okay now you know when we are taking the square of this you know we have negative here the negative is going to cancel out all right so let's distribute the two that is the exponent to numerator and to denominator so when we distribute this exponent two to a numerator we're going to have one over two times two which is going to give us one okay and then when we distribute this exponent two to the denominator we're going to have x raised to the power two all over three okay so that means we have f prime of x squared is equal to four minus x raised to the power two all over three all over x raised to the power two all over three okay now let's go again we can split this into two by saying four all over x raised to the power two all over three minus x raised to the power two all over three all over x raised to the power two all over three is that true so if you try to combine these together it's going to give you the same function as the above all right yes so now we have simplified f prime of x squared and we have 4 all over x raised to the power 2 all over 3 minus 1. And then we say that our formula is the integral from a to b square root of 1 plus f prime of x squared dx. So and we have found f prime of x squared. Okay. Now let's place it in now. We're going to have the integral, our boundary. Or the interval given to us is from 0 to 8. So we say the integral from 0 to 8, square root of 1, plus the f prime of x squared that we have. We have 4 all over x raised to the power 2 all over 3 minus 1 dx. Okay? Here we have 1 plus 4 all over x raised to the power 2 all over 3. We have 1 and then we have minus 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0. So we are going to have the integral from 0 to 8 square root of 4 all over x raised to the power 2 all over 3 dx. Okay. All right. Here we have integral from 0 to 8. You know, this square root of 4 all over x raised to the power 2 all over 3, we can split it into two like this. Square root of 4 all over square root of x raised to the power 2 all over 3 is still the same thing. Okay yes now let's go when we say square root of 4 is equal to 2 and then the square root of x raised to the power 2 all over 3 is the same thing as saying x raised to the power 2 all over 3 times 1 all over 2 you know this 1 all over 2 is the same thing as square root okay so that means we have integral from 0 to 8 2 all over x raised to the power 2 all over 3 times 1 all over 2 and then when we say 2 all over 3 times 1 all over 2 it's going to give us 2 all over 6 so here we have integral from 0 to 8 2 all over x raised to the power 2 all over 6 okay now we can bring out the 2 so when we bring out the 2 outside the integral sign we're going to have 2 integral from 0 to 8 1 all over x raised to the power 2 all over 6 when we multiply this together it's still going to give us the same thing okay now let's go this 1 all over x raised to the power 2 all over 6 you know it can be written as x raised to the power minus 2 all over 6 okay you know in the law of indices we can still take it back to 1 all over x raised to the power 2 all over 6 okay yes now let's go here we have 2 integral from 0 to 8 x raised to the power minus 2 all over 6 now we can integrate now okay so when we integrate x raised to the power minus 2 all over 6 we're going to have x raised to the power minus 2 all over 6 plus 1 all over minus 2 all over 6 plus 1 the interval 0 to 8 okay so when we say minus 2 all over 6 plus 1 it's going to give us 4 all over 6 and then when we reduce it further it's going to give us 2 all over 3 so here we say 2 open bracket in a numerator we have x raised to the power 2 all over 3 all over 2 all over 3 then close the bracket the interval 0 to 8 so here we are going to plug in 8 
minus when we plug in zero okay so when we plug in eight in this integrated function we're going to have two in the bracket we have eight a raised to power two all over three all over two all over three the minus let's plug in zero we're going to have zero raised to power two all over three all over two all over three so when we say eight raised to power two all over three all over two all over three when we simplify this it's going to give us six okay then we have minus zero raised to the power two all over three all over two all over three is going to give us zero so here we have two open bracket six minus zero so when we say six minus zero is six six times two is twelve so therefore we have twelve unit we have solved and we say that the area length of the curve x raised to the power 2 all over 3 plus y raised to the power 2 all over 3 equal to 4 is giving us 12 square units or 12 units all right yes thank you very much for watching please if you have not subscribed please do so and also like and share our videos thank you for supporting see you next time keep watching and remain blessed